Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, welcoming another Philadelphian, but one who has done some incredible things, the one and only Monet Davis, Little League World Series star, who has a new book out at 13 years old about her life, Remember My Name, extraordinary young woman with an extraordinary story. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and I can say this morning, Philly in the house, because I've probably got Philly's, besides Will Smith, Philly's most famous current celebrity, the one and only Monet Davis. How at 13 years old, Monet, do you have a book already about your life? Please explain this to me. I'm 36 and I don't even have a page about my life. You have a book. Let me plug it here. Monet, remember my name. Talk to me all about this. Well, it, uh, it was kind of brought to me in like a randomly like way but it was just like oh you're gonna be writing a book and I'm like okay but I thought it was gonna be like one of those little books where like has your picture and just like a couple sentences but I didn't think it would be this book but I mean it's pretty cool it was a good experience does it blow your mind I mean again I'm three times your age it's even scary saying that to me but to be your age and to have had all this stuff happened to you to actually warrant a book written about your life so far. Does it hit you in any way that this is crazy that this has happened to me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on in December when I went to the White House for the National Christmas Tree Lighting, and all of those amazing like singers were there, and and I got to meet the First Lady and the President, and that's like it was the most shocking thing ever. And I was just like, oh my God, but. After that, I was like, like, that's pretty cool. Hopefully I get to meet the president again. I mean, but otherwise it's been really crazy. You know, when you look at it on so many levels and you may not realize this yet, you're a pioneer, you're a groundbreaker. And there's gonna be a time when you look back on your life and realize what you've done. Is it beginning to seep in at any level where, hey, not only am I the first girl who threw a shot on the Little League World Series, but there are things, there are barriers that I'm breaking down right now for future children and that I'm going to inspire young women around the world at some level. I know there are there are other girls out there who are really good. Like I see it on Instagram and they're they're amazing, but it's just like maybe they don't want to do Little League because everyone says Little League is a joke, but it's actually not because pretty much hitting a 90-mile-an-hour fastball from – 46 feet away even even if it was just like they were pitching from the major leagues it's still the same speed but it's just a different time like reaction time I mean it's pretty cool to be to like set that like history to be the first girl and to start it off and hopefully there's more girls that do little league and other girls that throw shutouts to against the boys you're from Philly I'm from Philly and only people who are from Philly understand what Philly pride is. It, yeah. it, it's it's a country all to itself. Yeah. Talk to me about having that Philly pride and, and representing, because it, it, Philadelphia has its identity almost unlike any other city in this country. Being one of the faces and proud faces of that city, what has that meant to you? Um, a lot, because there's not a lot of baseball teams in Philly. So, I mean, it's pretty cool to be uh, the f actually the first team from Philly to actually make it to a World Series, but I mean, Philly is just an amazing city. When you look back on that experience, it must have been crazy. I know you were focused on the Little League World Series, but when it was all happening, what was going through your head? Was it just mind blowing? Um, actually, it wasn't, because a lot of because our coaches told all of us to, or like, we know that this is happening so fast and it's going to happen super fast and. Um, it's going to be a lot going on, so just don't worry about anything that's happening outside of just Williamsport because you, this is like the only time. This is the only time in your life that this would happen, and you can't come back to Williamsport. Well, you can come back, but you can't like play in the rec room or go to the pool and all. So he, he our coaches just told us just to enjoy this experience and don't worry about anything else because it's a once in a lifetime thing. You've gotten to do some unbelievably cool stuff. I was just watching you actually playing in the NBA Celebrity All-Star Game, crossing over Kevin Hart. I played basketball, so I can get crossing over. You did cross over Kevin Hart. All this cool stuff you've gotten to do. What have been the two or three just coolest experiences? Um, 
the National Christmas Tree Lighting is probably is the best one. That is cool. Um, uh, probably then the NBA the NBA Celebrity All Star Game. That was that's another one, and probably just like oh um, I'm actually going to be at the Kids Choice Awards, so that's that'll be awesome. pretty fun. So tell me about this book. Obviously, it's Remember My Name, and people do remember your name. I mean, you've become, in, in many ways, a national hero. Talk to me about putting this book together. What was it you wanted to get across to the the people who read this thing? Well, a lot of people just think that I'm just like a girl who just stays really hard. But there's actually a lot to go along with that. Like When I first started pitching, there was a kid who just hit a bomb off of me. I mean, no one likes to get bomb hit. No one likes to get bombs hit off of them. So I mean, it was took a lot of practice to build my arm strength up, and a lot of people, some people, most people get it, but a lot of people don't. And a lot of people like like put hate on like your social media pages, and a lot of people like understand what you're going through. But I mean, it's all in the book. You'll know like everything that happened in my life. Being a girl and playing against boys was there just a level of pride there where you just like I want to do really well because not only do I want to do well but I also want to inspire was there a sense of pride there that I have to, I want to create a legacy even at a young age um well I knew I I knew like, everyone on my team we all know how good we are and we all know that all the other teams were really good there too because you had to be pretty good to make it there. So we all know that they were really good and we just knew that we had to come out with our strongest game. And everyone believed in me in the first game and they all trusted me. And so I couldn't let them down, so I had to just bring my A game. You have had everybody want to meet you. We talked about obviously the president and first lady, celebrities. I mean, I was watching the Celebrity All-Star game and people wanted to take pictures with you. Mm Who's been, like, besides the president and the first lady, who have been the coolest people who have wanted to just meet you that you've been like, this is pretty cool? Um, actually, Kevin, surprisingly, Kevin Hart was pretty cool. He's awesome. Meet. He's a Philly guy, yeah. too, by the way. I mean, he might, he's, like, everyone knows he's super funny, but then, like, on the side, he, he's really, he's super cool. And I also got to talk to um, Drake on the phone. That's awesome. And he said, he's a, he said hopefully he gets to meet me pretty soon, so... I'm looking forward to that. And uh, Skylar Diggins is really cool. You have so much going on right now. You have sneaker stuff happening. You're helping with charitable work. Talk to me about all the stuff that you now have moving forward, all the doors that have been opened for you. Oh, I just made a sneaker called, uh, well, it's with MADE, which stands for Make a Difference Every Day. And it, it um, it's also with Plan International. And they have a campaign called Because I Am a Girl. And it a profit of the sneakers go to a charity somewhere in the world which who is also like with because I'm a girl and it helps girls get educations and get an education and start like start in sports if they wanted to and they're even even if they're not allowed to start in their country but just like to at least get some like sports in there so it it's a pretty good charity you're also a basketball player you're a three sport athlete how the heck are you able to play three sports at your age? What do you love the most, and where do you see yourself going from a sports perspective? Well, the thing I like the most is that um, for all three sports that I play, it's with basically everyone on the team. So everyone who plays baseball for my travel team, the Anderson Monarchs, they're on the basketball team. And if they play soccer, then they're on the soccer team. So it's basically we're with each other year-round. And it's not that hard to manage, but hopefully I can make it to the WNBA. It's unbelievable. Who's your Who's your idol? Who do you look at and say, this is the person I'd love to mirror my life and career over the next 10, 20 years? Um, well, Steph Curry had a pretty uh, good Not story. Not a bad role model. Yeah, he had a pretty good story. Like when he when people told him that he wouldn't make it anywhere because he couldn't shoot. And now look at him like the best, one of the best three-pointers in the game right now. But I mean, that, I like the way his style is. You're awesome. 13 years old, mind-blowing, and congratulations. I just read you have a Disney Channel movie coming out. You've got it. How cool is that? Talk to me. Is What's it going to be about? How much of your life? Or how are you involved? I've got to know. Um, I don't really know a lot about it, but 
I kind of just kind of found out also. But, I mean, it's a lot of things have happened, and I'm just looking forward to it. Is it fun? I mean, when you look, do you ever worry about a time that, hey, people aren't going to know my name, or I may not be in the moment or as famous as I am at this at this moment? Do you ever want that? Or is it really interesting and fun to be where you're at at this point? Are you able to enjoy it? Well, at my age, it's it's pretty fun to, right now because, I mean, everyone that you've been looking at on YouTube and it's like watching videos of them on Instagram and that they want to meet you right now is probably the best feeling a 13-year-old would ever have. And, I mean, there is going to be a point where like, someone else kind of, like, has the same has the same like journey as you and like did the same thing and their name's going to be up there but then you're just going to you just have to appreciate it because I mean you started something and someone else is also doing the same thing so you got to just appreciate it and congratulate them you're going to look back on your life one day and you're going to realize that you started something congratulations you I don't know if it hits you yet but 20 years from now you'll look back and be like in college textbooks so you're awesome you're a very special young lady everybody make sure to check out monet davis's new book again philly pride full of philly pride remember my name and people are remembering your name congratulations thank you